Hey Tubers, JB Coins here with uh, a video I know a lot of you have been asking for for a while and it's taken us a while to get to this point. Uh, but we have finally decided what we are going to submit to PCGS for grading uh, and why and, um, and hope that we get back what we expect. Um, but anyway, we'll go over this. We've got a, a 54D uh, that's red in very nice condition. Uh, what I did with all these was I pulled up PCGScoinfacts.com on my laptop and I put in the year and mint of the coin and was able to compare these to what is available or what is on their screen, what the grade is, and then down below that it actually shows how many of that type and what they sold for. So that's kind of how we led to these choosing these coins in particular to send in. Uh, this is the D and this is the S next to it. You can see the, how really nice the, the and red the S is. Very shiny. Um, it compares very favorable to the highest rated um, coin that they've got currently of that type. Um, so we're hoping that we get a high grade on that one. Um, this is the 1941S Walking Liberty from the AU, or the, um, yeah, the AU tube from Atmex that we bought and went through in our video. And we found on the back that on the S, there's an error. And um, we actually showed that to you in the video. So if you want to see it, it's here's the S right here and what it's got is it's got an extra loop on the back side of the D and it's just textbook this one is exactly like what's in what's in the books so we're gonna submit this one uh, hoping that we get the grade but also getting the uh, designation uh, the attribution for the variety uh, these two ought to look familiar to you these are the 45 Mercury's that we picked up at a coin show uh, rather inexpensively and we were cherry picking through a bowl of these. We're hoping that these are going to come back graded um, MS-63, MS-66, somewhere in there. Um, I don't think that they'll grade higher but they could. Uh, this one I believe is going to come back full split bands. Uh, this one I believe may only get the full bands designation uh, uh, which I would be still perfectly happy with. Um, so these are the early, uh, we separated this out the way PCGS does. These are the pre-65 coins, and then we move over to the 65 and newer coins. So the first coin at the top is the 68 uh, Kennedy, 68D Kennedy half dollar that you guys all, uh, saw us uh, find this. And my sweetie noticed that the, that the mint mark looked kind of funny. And when we put it under the microscope and played with it and played with it and played with it, we were finally able to determine that there were approximately five strikes stacked on top of each other uh, of that D. So we're going to hopefully get the attribution for that as well. We're more concerned about that than we are the grade. Uh, 72D, uh, you guys also saw us find this. Uh, it has the missing FG on the back. Um, it should have the FG initials here, and you can see there's absolutely nothing there. So again, we're, we're more concerned with getting the attribution of the FG, and you know if we get a nice grade along with that, that'd be great. The last coin down here in the stack is a 65 Washington quarter, and again, we did this on video, and in God we trust is doubled. So uh, we're hoping to get the attribution for that. Uh, it's a decent condition coin for its age, um, but that, that would be a great attribution. And then this one's going to confuse some of you guys. Um, this is a 1999, and it is not a wide AM uh, version. It's just a straight up 1999 close AM proper mintage coin. We're submitting it based on condition only. The reason is because when we went to CoinFacts, 
they only have one of those in MS67 grade, and it has not sold. They have two all the way down at MS65, and one of those sold for $2,070. The example that they show on the screen is an MS64 Plus, and this coin is nicer than the MS64 Plus. So we're hoping that this thing comes in between 65 and 67, and just based on condition would wind up being a very valuable coin that we could then send to auction. The neat thing we want to reinforce to you guys about the coins that we picked is the, the four coins on the right here, the 65 and newer, you guys saw us pick all of these doing coin roll hunting. Uh, the coins on the left, the two pennies, came out of coin roll hunting that you guys probably saw us going through copper and non-copper. Um, we may or may not have selected them out at the time we did the videos. The only coins on the table here that we bought were the AU Walking Liberty and the two Mercuries. Okay, so we've got about $40 invested here in what we bought. The rest of this we found in basically pocket change. Okay, doing the coin roll hunting that you guys have watched over the years. And that's why in part we picked this stuff because um, we really want to see what what would this stuff really be worth? You know, what will it really come back graded as? Uh, some of this stuff we wouldn't part with. I mean, you know, regardless of what comes back. But if that comes back uh, with a high enough grade that it could sell for two grand, it's gone. <laughs> uh, the Mercury's, if they both come back full split band common grade, one of them's going to go to auction, one will go in the collection. So we'll just see what we get. Uh, but we have to go through the submission process. It's probably going to take um, four to six weeks to get them back. We have to submit them on, a, on their form and indicate on each coin the description and also that we're looking for attribution on the coins that we are, such as these three and uh, these three over here, but not this one and not these two. So it's going to be, you gotta, you've got to itemize for them what it is you're looking for. And then when in doubt, put what you think you might want, for example, the attribution on these coins. If they check them and they do not feel it's got, it, that it qualifies for attribution, they not only won't give you the attribution, but they also won't charge you for it. Okay, So uh, don't be afraid to ask for more than what you, you know, if you're in doubt. Um, but understand, instead of paying $18 for attribution, they actually only charge you $9, I think, if I remember right now. Um, so right here, you're sitting here looking at a couple of hundred bucks worth of uh, grading fees probably. Uh, so we want to make sure we get the paperwork right, get the submission off, get it, you know, get it in the mail, get it insured and get it out of here so that we can hopefully get it back and show you guys what they come back graded as. So hopefully you guys found this interesting. Hopefully you agree, agree with our uh, submissions and the reasons for them. Uh, you know, leave comments down below it and, and uh, until we get these back uh, or until the next video, uh, please like, share, subscribe, and JNB signing out.